Hello, hello, hello. I'm the Linux Mint. Today I'm going to talk about Linux Mint. They recently put out a new ISO and they made some nice upgrades and it looks really beautiful. So I'm going to go into a virtual machine and take a look at it and do an update. So I'm on the Linux Mint website and uh, their new version is 21.1 and you can go down here, sorry, you can click download, click Linux Mint 21.1, scan down, and it's the Cinnamon one that is the one that is their flagship uh, desktop. Click on new features. And here it's gonna tell you all the things they added into this new version of uh, Linux Mint. So you can go here, uh, they added some new themes, some new colors. They changed some of the icons. The icons look different. And so forth. So this would be a good page for you to look at if you want to see what's new in this upgraded Linux Mint. So I'm just going to shut this website. I'm going to shut this page. So here I am. I'm in Linux, the new version of Linux Mint. I'm running it in a virtual machine. And I didn't make any changes to it. So I haven't updated anything or make, made any changes. So the first thing I want to do is click on this. Do you want to change to a local mirror? Yes. So I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to change it to University of Waterloo in Canada. And I'm going to change this one too into the University of Waterloo in Canada. If I can find it. There it is there. Apply. So it's updating the cache. So what I did is I changed the mirrors to a local mirror from a university that's not too far from where I live. And it's updating the cache. What I'm going to do next is I'm not going to use the GUI to update the system. And that is another thing that everyone should know is when you install a new system, you should always update it. So like I said, I'm not going to use the GUI to update it. Now that I've changed the mirrors, I'm going to bail out of there. I'm going to go into my terminal. I'm going to make it full screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in this command. sudo apt update. I'm going to put my password in. And let's see how many updates there are. I think the uh, this new Linux Mint came out a, about a week ago. So it's saying there's 22 packages can be upgraded. Now, one might wonder why are you updating in the terminal instead of the, the GUI, which is the graph, graphical user interface. The reason is simple. I love using the terminal. I think the terminal is a lot faster. And... I think it's better to use the terminal. So anyways, there's 22 packages that can be upgraded. You can see right here, 22 packages to be upgraded. So I'm going to type in this command, sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to say hit enter again to say yes. And then now it's updating. 22 packages and the reason why it's only updating 22 packages is because it is a new ISO okay so the update is finished it took uh, less than five minutes and now I'm going to reboot type in reboot and booting into the new system shouldn't take more than a moment and one thing I like about this new Linux Mint is that it's very fast 
it's very snappy. So it's asking me for my password. And also they changed the login tune when you log in. And here we are. We're in the brand new Linux Mint and it's been updated. So the first thing I'm gonna do, what I always do is Linux Mint is I make the volume 100%. I change the clock. I take off the 24 hour and I put display date. Close that. Another thing I do is I always get the applets and I download the weather app. So this is just updating all the applets and downloading all the applets that are available. And I pin the weather app to my bottom bar. Here it is here. Click on the arrow. Highlight it. Sorry, go to here. Hit the plus button and it's going to add it to my bottom bar. And then I'm going to configure it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to change this hourly forecast. I don't need 48 hours. I'm going to change it to 20. Uh, let's make it 26. And I'm going to enable minute forecast. And I'm going to close it. So as you can see, it's minus 12 Celsius. And you can go here. And you can go here and you can see my hourly forecast. Next thing that I'm going to do is go into system settings and screensaver I'm going to turn off. I'm going to say never, I'm going to turn that off, I'm going to turn that off, I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to go to power management. I'm going to turn that off because I don't like it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to scan down here. I'm going to go to my firewall. Then my password. And that popped up because I hit it too many times. I'm going to click on my firewall. Toggle it on. Let's try that again. Gonna close it. Gonna open it again just to make sure it stayed on. Let's cancel that. Put my password in. And there it is, my firewall is activated. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the terminal and I'm gonna Type in this command, sudo apt install numlock x. Put my password in. This is just a program that's going to help the numlock to be turned on whenever I log in. So I'm going to close the terminal. I'm going to go back into settings. Go down to the bottom, login window, put my password in. Make it full screen. Let's go to settings here. And then activate NumLock. Now this button will be here, but it won't work unless you downloaded the NumLocks like I did in the terminal, or you can download it in the software manager in the GUI. So let's close that. Let's close that. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the software manager and I'm going to download Brave web browser. So let's just type in Brave. Now they redesigned their software center and it's much easier to look at and it's easier to tell if something is a flak pat or if it's coming directly from the repository so i'm going to click on brave and i'm going to install it 
continue and it's installing and you can see down here it's a flat pack it's coming from a flat hub and because it's a flat pack it's going to take a little bit longer to install than the software from their repository but it's still going to probably be less than five minutes and it's almost half done already so it's downloading and uh, i'll be back in a minute and i'm back so i took about two and a half minutes and i'm going to close the software center i'm going to open up my menu i'm going to go to internet now you can see i have brave here and i have firefox here and i also have firefox here so i'm going to go back to my internet and i'm going to click on brave i'm going to say maybe later and there we are we are in the brave browser so here we have brave browser we also have firefox i find this new linux mint is very snappy here we have our file manager and they've changed it they've redesigned the icons they put a different color in it used to be green and you can change the color you can also change the style of the icons or the color nothing is static so you have all your directories here I believe the linux mint team did a very good job on this anyways i thank you for watching my video don't forget to push that button and subscribe to the channel i am the linux mint